welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today I'm back at you with a new makeup tutorial because it's been a while. So I feel like this is a natural look, but it of course is a full coverage, full face natural makeup look, but in honestly 15 minutes or less, which is great. So if you would like to see how I filmed this a fresh face yet full coverage, a 15 minutes or less makeup look, just keep watching. So I think I'm just going to lightly spot conceal my skin right now because I have a couple of annoying scars or zits around here. Don't mind if I look this way, that's where my mirror is. I'm using the ColourPop in the color light. I really like this concealer lately. But my favorite concealer is of course this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in the shade NC25. So what I do is I take about a pump or two onto my beauty blender and I'm just going to quickly put this right under my eye area. And I'm going around my nose area a bit too, just using a damp beauty blender. I'm going to be concealing again. This is just a really quick conceal. I have two foundations to use. You would have probably already seen this in my skincare video as well, but these are from The Ordinary. So I'm doing a mix of this serum foundation and this coverage foundation. One shade is super, super light, so I like to mix that with the shade that is darker. So probably like two pumps onto my hands of the serum one, maybe like two to three of the darker one. Then I'm just going in with this foundation brush and applying that to my face. Just blending everything in. And now I'm going to be going back in with this ColourPop in the color light. I'm putting this under my eyes just to make them look brighter and more awake. This is very light for me, but when I put the setting powder and just face powder on my face, it will look really nice and it will blend in pretty well. So I'm doing that because this is a sort of a full coverage but also quick makeup look. I'm not going to be doing any more contouring and things like that, so this is pretty much it. So again, with this damp beauty blender, just patting it into my under eye area. I really like these ColourPop concealers because I find that they are very for high coverage without being too heavy looking, so they actually look pretty light, but they do conceal quite easily, and they are affordable as well. Okay, so the face is starting to come together, <laughs> which is a good thing. So now what I'm going to be doing is going in with this. This is of course the Ben Nye um, Colorless Face Powder, which is basically my setting powder for my under eye area and around my nose. So just with the back of this brush, just gonna dip in. Now we're just going to let that sit for a second in order to bake onto our face. I'm going to be going in with my face powder. So this is the Fit Me Face Powder in 220, natural beige. So I'm just going to be taking my face powder brush and just patting that in. Now at this stage, I'm just going to be wiping this off and patting it in. Next, what I'm quickly going to do is going in with my bronzer. This is a new bronzer for me, but this is an old a favorite for most people, and this is Max Give Me Sun. I love it. I was using this a lot when I went on vacation with Jules because this is her favorite bronzer. I was actually using a lot of her face products, <laughs> and I really loved it, so I had to go out and get my own. That just wakes our face up. And because this is a quick makeup look, I'm going to quickly contour my nose with this as well. So I'm just taking this angled brush and I'm just going to lightly carve out my nose so that it appears to be a touch thinner. So just from here, nothing too heavy. This is just a simple makeup look, but I still want my nose to have somewhat of like a definition, you can, I guess you can say. And what I usually do is I go over with this face brush and just blend that in. So it's not so harsh. Since this is a quick look, I'm actually going to be doing my blush as well just right now, just so I can basically do my entire face before I do all the finer details. So I'm going in with this Buxom blush in the color Wanderlust. It's very pretty. It's sort of like a pinky, peachy, corally color, I guess you can say. And now in the springtime, I like to use more pinky, peachy blushes, that's for sure. So this is a really nice color. Just focusing on the apples of my cheeks. But don't be alarmed because I am going to be blending that out with my face brush. I like to blend everything. 
Now I feel like it hasn't even been five minutes and I basically have my whole face pretty much set and ready to go. So now I'm going to be working on the finer details of my face. I'm going to be wiping off this excess powder with the back of this beauty blender. <laughs> And now I'm going to be using this eyebrow product and this is new for me, but I really like it. I've been using this for about a week or two and I actually really love this. So this is the Benefit brow product called Ultra Fine Brow Defining Pencil in precisely my brow pencil and it is in the number three. So what I like to do is twist it up. This is nice because you don't have to sharpen it. Now I'll have to be looking in my mirror because I have to be pretty precise. But I basically just lightly fill in any sparse areas of my brow just to make everything look a little bit more even and defined. This literally takes, I don't know, a minute to do. <laughs> it's quite fast using a product like this. Fill it in with this pencil and it could not be easier. And I love that it's a twist up so you don't have to be looking for your pencil sharpener. <laughs> So this really does save a lot of time when it comes to doing brows and it is so quick and easy to do. Guys, in literally seconds, I'm basically done one brow, so I love it. They also have a spoolie on the back end, which I find really helpful as well, so I just will brush that out. And my brow is basically done, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other brow. Okay, so brows are done and that probably took me literally one minute and now I'm going in with just a quick, quick eyeshadow look. This just helps me to look more awake. <laughs> so I'm going in with this Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. Now I really like this Reloaded Palette. The original Naked Palette I was never that crazy about, but this one's colors seem to be a bit more on the warmer side of things, so I really like that. I guess I'm going to use the color Boundaries and I'm literally going to just sweep this across my entire eye. Then I'm going in with just a blending brush and I'm going to blend that eyeshadow out so it looks a little bit more natural. Then with a more precise brush, I'm going to go in with the color Retro. It is sort of this pinky color right here. I'm just going to go and focus on the top outer corner of my eye. blending brush to just blend everything in then I'm just going to be taking a sort of flat end brush and I'm going in with the color bribe I'm just going to pat that in the inner corners just barely going to the center just focusing on the beginning just to lighten everything up a bit then of course blending brush and blending everything in I'm just going to go into the color angel fire and just touch up my brow bone this is like a light shimmery color, so it looks pretty. And the same thing just right here. Ta-da! I always have to use my eyelash curler. That also helps you get things done pretty quickly because it does a lot of the work for you. So it already curls your lashes up. You can probably even already see the difference. And of course, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in just the shade black, of course. And just quickly sweeping that on. And then I will do the same thing for the other eye. Okay, now I'm going in with a waterproof mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Waterproof Mascara. I like to use this on my bottom lashes because I always feel like waterproof mascara helps it to not be so runny and smudgy, I guess you can say. <laughs> so we're just gonna quickly line the bottom lashes. And now normally if I'm doing super quick makeup, I don't even really bother even with a wing liner, but this one makes it so quick and easy to do and I'm just gonna do a tiny little wing liner just to open up my eyes a bit. So this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner and this is in the color black, of course. So I'm just going to quickly line my eye, just a touch. That's pretty much as high as I'll go. Connecting that to my lid here so see so i have the basic shape down already that took a couple seconds i'm just gonna do it in the outer part so going probably halfway in like that just a simple cat eye 
quick, simple, and tiny, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. I love this because I feel like I'm able to be so precise and it literally takes me seconds to use, so I absolutely love that product as well. And I'm going to use this Anastasia highlighter and this is the Amrezy highlighter, so it is such a beautiful color. And I feel like this is really nice, especially for my skin because I'm not too, too tanned. So just literally touching right here. Just your highest point of your cheekbone area, I guess. I even connected a bit here. This is such a great tip to make yourself just look more awake and alive. And especially if you're doing quick makeup, it literally takes seconds to put highlighter on, even on your nose, which I'm doing right now with the same brush. See, just to pop a bit of highlighter on your face it makes such a difference and it really does make your skin just come to life basically. And that is almost it guys. Now all I basically have to do is my lips, which is kind of my favorite part. So I have this new to me and I love it. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color Gone Grage 104. So I'm going to line my lips here. I like to slightly overline, but still keeping in with the natural shape and line of my lip. Now I'm going in with this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color Skimpy. This is kind of like an old time favorite that I've recently discovered again because I'm into glossy lips all over again, so I love this. I hope they still have this because I love it, but if not, they have a lot of similar colors. This is in the shade Skimpy. And now new, this is a new MAC collection. This is in the color for the frill of it, and it is the MAC Lip Glass. I bought this because the packaging was so cute. I haven't been getting a lot of MAC products at all lately, guys, but the packaging was too cute to resist. And it sort of reminded me of Oyster Girl. So that's basically it. I'm just going to let my hair down and change out of my pajamas and I'll see you guys back here. But I managed to finish this makeup look before this battery died and it was going to die like pretty much the whole time I was filming. So you know that I did a super quick makeup look. So that is great for pretty much a full face but also a sort of natural looking makeup look as well. So I'll be right back to show you the final look. And I am back. I really like the way this came out. I can't believe that this took me honestly half the time that it would to do my regular makeup and I feel like I look the same if not better. <laughs> we still have a nice full coverage look going on here yet we also look fresh faced and not too heavy perfect for the springtime as well. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you enjoyed um, seeing some of my favorite products to use as of lately as well. I will link everything I used in the description bar down below so please don't forget to check that out for every single product that I've used. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and if you did like this video and you wanna see more makeup looks in the future, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Every new subscriber means so much to me and I just love it when I see you guys subscribing. It keeps me motivated to making more content like this. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will of course see you in my next video. Bye, guys! Is your own? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm just... I wonder if you're using mine. No, it's mine. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at.